Has your breakfast ever looked like it was oozing the grossest bodily fluids or brought shame upon an entire nation? That's how bad it got with these fast food items that horrified the internet. Wendy's has only been in the breakfast game for a couple of years, first launching their line of early morning offerings right before the COVID-19 pandemic hit in 2020. With any new endeavor, there's bound to be some missteps. Case in point, Wendy's sausage, egg, and Swiss croissant sandwich. The problem seems to be that the Swiss in this croissant is really a Swiss cheese sauce, which is a very poor replacement for a single slice of regular Swiss cheese. As one horrified customer claimed on Reddit, I had to wipe it off and it's still nasty. Can't even eat the sandwich. And there's another Reddit thread in which someone thought that the sauce was mayonnaise and was confused about why it was being served on a breakfast sandwich. Hopefully, Wendy swaps this weird sauce out with real cheese and scores some points with breakfast lovers. And that's not the only time that Wendy's has messed up the first meal of the day. Even though their maple bacon chicken croissant sandwich has actually enjoyed some enthusiastic reviews, the problem in this case is that there seems to be a real lack of consistency with its cooking. One horrified customer took to Reddit to share a discovery that the chicken was still completely raw on the inside. As one commenter quipped, you got the limited edition raw breakfast. As one former Wendy's manager explained on Reddit, the chicken patties are still frozen when they go into the deep fryer, so cooking time is paramount. During the breakfast rush, you may run the risk of your croissant coming out of that fryer too soon, so chomp with caution. For the most part, everyone loves cupcakes, and everyone loves pancakes, so combining them must be a great idea, right? IHOP's cupcake pancakes don't beat around the bush. This is straight-up junk food for breakfast, and it doesn't pretend to be otherwise. But the fact that these sprinkle-filled pancakes topped with cupcake icing and whipped cream contain a whopping 821 calories isn't what has gotten the internet all fired up. The problem is that we eat with our eyes, and when those peepers land upon IHOP's cupcake pancakes, they discover something that they're not supposed to see at the breakfast table, specifically a biological substance substance that shall not be named. If you don't want to use your imagination, look no further than Reddit, which features an entire thread devoted to the subject matter. One commenter described the look of this dish as a clown tumor, which is harsh but also fair. It's not a tumor. In the Cupcakes Pancakes defense, if you can get past how they look, they do seem to taste delicious. However, there's only so much of this stuff you can eat. As one customer declared on Reddit, they taste great, but about a few bites in, you realize you're shaving years off your life, and it kind of ruins the experience. Taco Bell entered the fast food breakfast game back in 2014. Alas, they proved to be a less than worthy competitor against breakfast titans like McDonald's or Jack in the Box for a few reasons. Chief among them is that Taco Bell's breakfast items are pretty out there. Case in point, a completely unappealing lump of meat shared on Reddit that was supposed to be a waffle taco. It features what looks like an entire hamburger patty covered in melted cheese, falling out of a waffle that's standing in for a tortilla. As one person chimed in on the Reddit thread, I've seen nothing but posts on how disgusting this stuff is, yet I still want to go out and try one of everything. Thing. Another Reddit post shared a waffle taco overflowing with so much meat and cheese that it was labeled a delicious heart attack taco. To its credit, Taco Bell has actually acknowledged its breakfast failures. The chain launched a campaign with comedian Pete Davidson that features him apologizing on behalf of Taco Bell for their overly ambitious fails, including the waffle taco. At least they know how to laugh at themselves. Are you riffing or is this part of the commercial? I don't know. I didn't read the script. Any Canadian will tell you that getting your morning coffee and breakfast from Tim Hortons is basically the highest form of patriotism. Some would even say that Tim Hortons coffee runs through the veins of all good Canadians, which is why it's so surprising to see so many threads on Reddit dedicated to just how awful the chain's breakfast sandwiches are. One perplexed customer on the Canada subreddit complained about the rubbery, unappetizing texture of their breakfast sandwich eggs, an act that could be considered treason. And this person wasn't alone, with someone else commenting, Tim Hortons pulled off the best marketing campaign ever, convincing Canadians that going to Tim's is their patriotic duty. Tim Hortons managed to further outrage their countrymen when they swapped out their scrambled omelet-style eggs with real egg patties that featured more distinct whites and yolks. Canadians unanimously agreed that this new egg patty was disgusting to look at. The texture has been decried as spongy and stringy. Canadians went so far as to create an online petition demanding that their beloved Timmys bring back the old eggs. Let's hope that the chain does the right thing and restores national peace north of the border. Oh, Canada. <laughs> In 2013, Dunkin' Donuts joined the ranks of fast food chains pulling stunts with an over-the-top breakfast innovation. In this case, it was the glazed donut breakfast sandwich. It included a reconstituted egg, meat, and cheese served between a glazed donut cut in half. As it was designed to do, this monstrosity caused a fervor on the internet that ranged from horror to absolutely giddy anticipation. One person lamented on Twitter, I've given up on humanity, while another person celebrated by tweeting, this is the epitome of everything that is right with America. It's worth noting that despite resembling a heart attack in one meal, 
original, the glazed donut breakfast sandwich mystifyingly somehow only contained 360 calories. Love it or hate it, it definitely got people talking, though it didn't seem to live up to the hype. As predicted by people posting on Reddit, the real deal didn't look anything like the glossy, plush version depicted in promotional materials. Instead, it was a sad, smush sandwich served cold to preserve the donut glaze. Nothing like some cold eggs and meat stuffed inside a donut to start your day. People sure seem to love getting mad about things on the internet. Cracker Barrel found this out the hard way when they announced that they'd be offering Impossible Sausage, a plant-based alternative to their usual breakfast meat. This decision reportedly stemmed from customer demand, but that didn't stop other customers from taking to social media to express their dismay. As one person commented on Facebook, fake meat full of chemicals and fillers is better for you than actual meat? Man, some people are delusional and easily manipulated. Another chimed in, I can't believe Cracker Barrel has bought into this fake meat junk, and some seem to think Cracker Barrel was making a political statement by offering Impossible Sausage. As one person quipped, once you go woke, you go broke. However, plenty of other commenters expressed their excitement at having a non-meat option at Cracker Barrel. Obviously, vegetarians and vegans were pleased. And another person pointed out that her son who suffers from a rare protein allergy that makes animal meat a no-go for him would be thrilled at this development. Plenty of observers simply poked fun at how upset other people were getting, with comments like, people are really angry about vegan sausage. I hope if they make a gluten-free biscuit, it starts an all-out riot. You're not going there and grabbing plant-based sausages and they're not shoving them down your gullet. If you don't want it, don't eat it. In 2022, Burger King released a line of cheesy breakfast melts that should have been pretty tasty. They consisted of melted cheese and meat, sandwiched between two thick pieces of Texas toast. How could that possibly be bad? Alas, somehow, BK did indeed bungle it all up. One customer posted a truly unappetizing picture on Reddit of a sloppy bacon cheesy melt from a Yakima Herald Republic article, along with the caption, eat it if you dare. Others chimed in to agree that these greasy sandwiches are probably not the best way to start your day, with one commenting, that picture looks like heartburn waiting to happen. The takeout reviewed all three of the BK Cheesy Breakfast Melts and easily concluded, you can go ahead and skip all of them. For one thing, they were wildly inconsistent in terms of how toasted the bread was. Luckily for Burger King, many people commenting online seem to agree that the other items on their breakfast menu are pretty good, even if their opinion of the chain overall has seriously dwindled. Anything called an apocalypse should probably be approached with caution. Back in 2017, Hardee's released its apocalypse burrito and biscuit. As Chief Marketing Officer Brad Haley explained to Business Wire, this overflowing creation was cooked up by an advertising agency, which means it's essentially a gimmick. So what exactly is an apocalypse burrito? It's four slices of ham, three strips of bacon, a sausage patty, scrambled eggs, and two types of cheese, all rolled up inside a tortilla. If you think that sounds unhealthy, you'd be correct. This burrito contains 145% of both your daily recommended saturated fat and cholesterol intake, not to mention more than 1,100 calories. If your reaction to the apocalypse is ew and no thanks, then you should know that there are plenty of people who agree with you. When Hardy's tweeted about the burrito, one person responded, I tried this today, one of the worst things I've ever had from a fast food restaurant. On the other hand, there were some people on the internet who actually sounded excited to try the apocalypse, which is perhaps an actual omen of the end times. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Subway's longtime slogan is Eat Fresh, so it's ironic that they're serving breakfast flatbread sandwiches with eggs inside that are decidedly anything but fresh. As reported by Forbes, those flatbread sandwiches contain an egg patty that isn't just eggs. In fact, they're made with something called a premium egg blend that contains more than a dozen ingredients. Some of those ingredients are whole eggs and egg whites, but then there are the chemical preservatives. And there's even a silicone in there that can also be found in Silly Putty and many lubricants. It shouldn't be much of a surprise that an egg flatbread sandwich made with silicone would taste bad and customers have ventured online to vent their frustration. As one person put it on Reddit, I love Subway, but their breakfasts are awful. Another Redditor explained that these egg concoctions are actually made in an off-site factory, frozen, and then shipped to each store where they're reheated individually in a microwave. Yikes! Chick-fil-A has been involved with its fair share of controversy, and now they can add breakfast drama to their list. The offending items in this case are the chicken minis, which are essentially tiny fried chicken sliders, but for breakfast. The main complaint here isn't that they're disgusting, although they have gotten plenty of flack on the internet for their dryness due to a non-ideal bread-to-meat ratio. The real problem seems to be that these minis are a little too miniature, and customers are convinced that they're getting even tinier over time. As one Reddit thread asks, is it just me or do the chicken minis get smaller? People are even lodging this complaint over on TripAdvisor this time for a Virginia Chick-fil-A location, although it seems to be a widespread issue. And the minis aren't the only Chick-fil-A item that the internet suspects has shrunk over time. It's safe to say that a chain that specializes in chicken should make sure they have adequate amounts of poultry to keep their customers happy. So clearly we have a problem here.